Welcome to the fastest off in town. Tenelum Sach this Baba Kama Daf Lamed Dalid. We're going to begin on Lamed Dalid and Aleph at the beginning of the Amid by the two dots, six lines from the top. Tanurban. So you have a shor which is shovel masayim. You have an ox that's worth two hundred dollars. Shenaga shor she shovel masayim. So and end up <coughs> goring another ox which has the exact same monetary value. And the damage was 50 Zuz. Now, what ended up happening afterwards is, Veshavach, the animal went up in value. Ve'amad al arbamea Zuz. It went from 200 to 400 Zuz. <coughs> now, what is this referring to, Veshavach? says Rashi, Nizik, Ve'amad al dalmea Zuz. In other words, the animal that was damaged it was worth 200 did 50 zuz or a quarter of damage let's call it that way and then all of a sudden the animal went up in value to $400 shilmole lo hezikoi if let's say it didn't do damage if you didn't damage this animal at all then havi oimen el shmoina mea zuz it could have been worth 800 says Rashi Kloimer koyol v'ikol meimar ilmolo heziko havi oimen el shmoina mea zuz so you could, it could have been worth a lot more. So therefore, back in the Gemara, Noisin Kishas Hanesek. You pay the amount Kishas Hanesek at the time of the damage, which is namely 25 Zuz. Why, why 25? You did 50 Zuz of damage. So therefore, you pay Chatzin Hanesek, which is 25. So apparently it doesn't really matter. <coughs> um... The din is that you would still pay uh, the time of the damage, even though again it got it was worth more <coughs> later. Chachash, let's say the animal went down in value. Let's say it went from two hundred to a hundred. Then kishas samad b'din. Then we do the evaluation kishas samad b'din. How much it is at the time of the actual um, court case. So therefore, we would look at it um, seemingly. In the favor of the nit of the mazik. Okay, now shavach mazik. This is that was the ratio. Now the seifa is as follows. <coughs> Let's say the animal that did the damage, the mazik's animal, went up in value. <coughs> so nice little kishas nesek. So you should give it based on the time of the damage, <coughs> which is the same thing we said regarding to the to the nesek. To the nizik, rather, we also said that if it went up in value, um, that he gets kishas and nizik, chachash kishas hamad b'din. So therefore, the ratio of the seifa, whether it's the nizik or the mazik's animals, to the din is that you, if it goes, if it improves, we say it's the time of the damage. If it goes down in value, then we say it's kishas kishas hamad b'din. Omer mar. Now, Shavach Mazik, we just said in the Seifa, that the Mazik's animal did damage, nice and Shas and Ezek. So, Mani Rabbi Shmuel, Hidi Yomer, Baal Chayiv, who, what is he? He's a Baal Chayiv, he owes money. Vazuzi, who the his obligation is to pay the money. So, he doesn't owe any part of the shore that damaged. It's not that he owns a like, part of the animal, and therefore the animal goes up in value, so therefore you have more of a stake, and therefore you get more. No, it's just that we say this is. <coughs> <coughs> there was 50 zoos of damage, so therefore you owe that much money, or by a time you owe 25. So I am a safe. Now, if it's true that we don't care about the animal, so then why do we say that when it goes down in value, <coughs> that you should go shasamad bedin? It should be the same thing. Must be gotan rekiva the yamr should be ninhu. So ratio be shuva saver bekiva. So it sounds like. They're two different opinions. Because Rabbi Kiva holds that actually you're a shutfus. You have a partnership. The, the Nizik has partial ownership in this animal now because you owe me, owe me the money because the animal damaged. That's the reason why. If the animal goes down in value, it's it, it affects the amount of money that I owe. <coughs> so how do we understand this? The ratio is Rabbi Shimon saves us to Rabbi Kiva. Well, cool Rabbi Kiva. This whole entire thing is like Rabbi Kiva. Okay. So I can understand the safe, the safer. 
why if it's totally on the animals, so therefore it's Bishas and Madabadin. So therefore the question is, why if it goes up in value, do we say it's you still only pay at the time of the <coughs> Shas and Nezek? So Bahakmai Skinon, the reason why is Kishapitmoi. Because <coughs> the Mazik fattened it up. So really the Nizik like Rabbi Kiva holds is a shut. But the mazik paid money to fatten the animal up. So the shvach is only due to the mazik's work. And therefore the nizik should not be able to benefit in that case. One second. If we're talking about a case where the mazik fattened it up, a marasha, shavach va'amad al dal me'asuz, that let's say it went up to 400, which is the nizik, nois and lo'ach kishas ha'nezik. So pitmoi, if the nizik, you know, it's, it's the the, the ratios <coughs> the nizik fattened up the animal so what's it doesn't make any sense you didn't even say this so Amr Papa Reisha Mishkachas Law Ben Shpidma Petumi Ben Deshav Chamemewa the Reisha says right let's see the Rashi first the Ika Shpidma Nizik was Shaydai if the Nizik Fan his shore, Sri Khamer Dioyvali Kishasa Nezek. Of course you should only pay with Shasa Nezek. The Nizik <coughs> the fact that the Nizik's animal is improved because of the Nizik the Nizik, so that should not be part of the calculation. Um uh Hakai Mishtavish Mishim Pitu uh the Khasmi Mamoina. Okay. So it's like this. <coughs> the rain show we're talking about the Nizik is involved. So Mishkachas, that the rate the nizik is involved uh, in his animal. So Mishkachas law ben de pitma patumi ben de shavcha mameyua. In either situation, not only if he the nizik fattened it up, obviously we're going to go bishas um, hanezek. But even if it uh, improved by itself, the isra chalashmina the heich the shavcha mameyua, even though it went up by itself, nice look bishas hanezek. The chizik the the chiddush rather <coughs> that you still. Only go kishas hanezek says Rashi. The one must say armule, and he can't say ma'asad teich. He can't say what was what was your loss. So it's a chiddush that if it goes up a meila, that still we go baser shas um, shas hamazek the time the kishas hanezek time of the damage. Seifo mishkachsel el kishapitmoi. The seifo and the mazek is one who fattens it up. In that situation. We in fact will say the din is that it will go but uh, kishas um, hanezek. However, chachash. Uh, let's see. Did I get that? Seifo lo mishkachas el kishapitmoi. Chachash kishas amad b'din. Chachash mach. Okay. So therefore, that's that's the pshat. Question four. Shor shavu masayim. Shenaga shor shavu masayim bechavu bechamishim zuz b'shama ham mazik and the mazik improves the shore v'amen al arme mei zuz now it's worth four hundred im yochel hanizik l'tovei gam chelik shminis could he get uh, claim the fact that it fattened he fattened it up so shavach machma shepit mai mazik l'o shakil nizik b'shvacha certainly if the mazik is the one who fattened up this animal, so the nizik cannot benefit from the work of the mazik. So no, Rabbi Shmach Machmas Yukra. If it just went up in value, that's a machlok. Because Rabbi Shmuel, Rabbi Kiva, whether there's a shutvus in it or that he just pays the money. Chachash kishas hamad abedin. So if it went down, it's kishas hamad abedin. So chachash machmas hamad. Yilei the chash kamachmas malacha because there was a lot of work done. So leim lei ad machachshna yana yehivna. You weakened it, and now I have to give. Because of the injury, so the MLA carned the Torah Kavirabe that the horn of your ox is what <coughs> caused this uh, damage, and therefore we're going to um, have to wait until a mother Madin. And therefore, if it keeps going down in value, so then therefore that's on the Mazik because it was injured, and therefore that injury is continuing for it to get weaker. Let's see the next. Mishnah says the Masnison. Shor Shavu Mosayim. So now you have an ox worth two hundred. Shenagach Shor Shavu Mosayim again is worth two hundred. The end of the bill you have a klum. There is absolutely no residual value. The animal is killed and it's two hundred to zero. 
So, what is the din? What do we do over here? So, Rameir Oimer al Zenemer Machores Ashorachai Vachatos Kaspoi. So, what do you do? You take the 200, and because it's a Tom, so therefore you only get Chatsi Nesek, so you sell the animal. <coughs> the Mazak has to pay the $100, half of the value of the animal. So, Omer Yerbi Huda Vachain Halacha, and so too is. Uh, certainly, is the halacha says Rashi vadechin halacha um, that he has to give him a hundred dollars, which is a chati nezek. So that makes a lot of sense. Kiyamta um, umachor es shor chai v'chatzu es kasvoi vol kiyamta. So that was true. However, vol kiyamta we didn't fulfill the other part of the pasuk of igama meis yechatzun of splitting the the mace. So because you said it was worth nothing, so you split the maze. So how do you understand that part of the passing? Beis says so. Zem shor shavu masayim shenga shor shavu masayim. Again, they were both worth two hundred. The masik and the nizik animal. Vanavela yafa chamishim zos, but the nevela actually had some value. She zen noy to chatzia chayv and chatzia maze. She zen noy to chatzia chayv and chatzia maze. So in that situation, um, part of the chat uh, of. The paying is also <clears throat> the requirement of paying the din of the um, the value of the nevela. Okay, so this we obviously have to understand a little bit better because if you already paid <coughs> half, <coughs> it was two hundred dollars. It was two hundred dollars of damage. So what does it mean? You should pay him a hundred dollars and also fifty dollars. So we'll have to understand what that means. Or twenty five, okay. Says the Gemara. Turn about. Shor shove mosayim shanga shor shove mosayim. When a bill yof chamishim zuz, which is the case we just saw in the Mishnah. Zen noy to chatzia chay vechatzia meis. Zen noy to chatzia chay vechatzia meis. They split it. Zen shor homer b'tayur de Rabbi Huda. This is what the pasuk is referring to in our <coughs> in the Torah. Rameir Omer, no. Ain ze ain zehu shor homer b'tayra. Ella, what's the case of the pasuk? Shor shavu masayim shenga shor shavu masayim. I agree to that. <coughs> but the end of the veil yafa klum. Not that the veil was worth fifty. Right, the pasuk's talking about the veil is worthless, zero. Al zenemar marches the shor chayv v'chatu es kaspo. He split the money, sell the animal. The pasuk sells his two hundred dollar animal. He gives him half. What is that we do with that? So we say, that if there's any um, decrease in value, says Rashi Kloimer. When it comes to the veil, it's not shaykh by the masik at all. So basically, what it means is we have to look at how much it went down from the time that it was alive, and you and you have to give the mazik half of that. That's what it's referring to. So we have to evaluate this animal <coughs> that died and figure out how much it's worth, and that's how you will de- decide how to pay half the damages. <coughs> In either case, Lachar, you would be taking 125. So if the Nevela was in fact 50, so they would both hold that you should split it into, in half. So So if that's true, then if they both hold you take 125, so what's the difference? So The difference has to do with Pachas Nevela. Ramer Sever Pachas Nevela de Nizik. Kavi Rabbi Huda Sever Pachas Nevela de Mazik Kavi. Um, um, Havi Palga. So the Tom, um, we're dealing with the din of a Tom, we are very strict. And the Bechas Nevela is actually going to go on to the Mazik. The Mazik is going to end up losing the, the difference between how much it was worth when it died <coughs> to the time of Mishasa Mother Badin. Okay, so that's, that's the, the basic answer. And, I just wrote over here a, a very. I wrote Shvach, shvach Nevela. It should be Pachas Nevela. Okay, we'll, we'll read question five and then we're going to get back to it. But the question is 
Be'ez Oif and HaMachoikas Ben Rameh or Behuda What is the Machokas Begamas Mesiyah Chotzon Rabbi Yehuda Dorish to Noidel Chatzei Chai and Chatzei Meis. Rabbi Yehuda Dorish lo Oyel Bchas Misa Mechsum Hachai. So, okay. Actually, I am right. <coughs> I didn't get to it. Get to it yet? Okay. So Rameir Sabr Bchas Navil the Nizik Avi. Rabbi Yehuda Sabr Bchas Navil the Mazik Avi. Palga Oimer Palga Palga. I'm not sure where the word. How do you read Palga in there? Okay. Um, so Amalei Abaya, Im Kain Matzinu Rabbi Yehuda, we find that according to the Shita of uh, Rabbi Yehuda, that says that Pachas Nevel goes to the Mazik as we continue to Lamed Dalad Amid Beis Rabbi Yehuda, Tam Chomer Memuad, he's more strict when it comes to this Tam that damage than a Muad. Says Rashi, Tahal Gami Muad Amrin Beparikam. We said Balam Metapum in the Beil Dechsev Ahimisi Helam. Uh, regarding Melanizic, <coughs> when it came to a mazik, like when it came to the damages, we said when it came to a muid, it's the pachas nevela, the loss is on the nizik, which is why there's some loss when it comes to to that. So, but by a tam, he says the mazik should lose out. It doesn't make sense. Why by a tam should we be more strict on a mazik than the animal damaging as a muid? So he does say this. So Amr the Shaman Lear Behuda when in Shmira Tehsive Kroy. When did he say this <coughs> regarding Shmira, says Rashi? Rehuda Aimer Tam Chayev Im Shamru Shmira Pchus. If he didn't do a good Shmira, the Yats of Hizik and it went out and damaged Umud Potter. So it has to do with. This minimal shmira, does that the same thing over there? We'll have to understand what this is referring to. We'll see later on. Someone who does a, a inferior level of shmira, so then there is a difference between a mood and a tam, according to Yehuda. But not when it comes to damages. He shouldn't say that. Doesn't make any sense. If an ox that's worth a mana, which is a hundred. Um, a hundred mana, which is equivalent to twenty-five zuz. Shenaga shashava chamesh slayim. Now chamesh slayim is twenty zuz. So the mazik's animals were twenty-five, and the nizik's animals were twenty. But nevel yafa sela, and the nevel is worth a sel, which is four zuz. So zen noitel chatziachai. You get half of the living animal, which is half of twenty. Uh, half of the living animal, which is uh, half of uh, the mana, and half of the and, and so so amrit the chimuid the lama yotze the hachma level the hakilav. When it comes to a mood, we're going to be leaner strict. Have you ever hachma? We're going to be more strict when it comes to mood. The ma mood in a mishalom ella mashi hizik. You only have to pay what was damaged, not more. Tama kalu kol shikain. When it comes to a tam, then kol shikain, you shouldn't have to pay more than that. So, um, we see, <coughs> I wrote a whole big shtick over here. We see a tam is more kal than a muid when it comes to tashlumen. The tam can't take more than the worth of the damage. Here, it's 12 and a half of the living, because they said it was worth 25. The mas the the shore um, that's alive, the mazik's animal is 25 zuz. So he would get 12 and a half, and the nevela is worth, the nevela facella, which is, we said he'll get four. Half a cella, this is more than the value of the whole shore um, that was killed. The shore was only worth <coughs> 20. Chamesh Slayim. So, and this, the other one was worth Shavamana. And, and together with the value of the Nevela, that's more than the damage. So, too, the question there, Behuda is not saying we have to um, split the Pachas Nevela between the Mazik and the Nizik by the Tam, when by a Muid, the Nizik takes the loss of Pachas Nevela. It doesn't make sense. How could, when a Tam he should take this loss? This is 
I was right actually. Shvach <coughs> nevela is the difference. Mar suffered the nisikai mar suffered palga. One says it's split. Behind the kashul of Rabbi Huda, Hashi the Yamin the Chas Rachman Olayu the Mazik that were lenient when it comes to a tam that does damage. The shakol b'shvacham he takes the gains. Yochel shor shavachami shloim. You think again if an animal which is worth mosayim, which as we said is uh, twenty zuz. Shadagah shor shavamana and a damaged animal which is worth twenty five. <clears throat> and it's worth 50 Zuz, this Nevela. So this one will get uh, 10 Zuz, because that's half of the value of this Shavim Chamish uh, Sloim, which is 50, 20 Zuz, so he gets 10 of that. And half of the <coughs> of the Mace, it was worth 5, um, two and a, five Sela, so he gets 2.5. How do we find that he should benefit? We say that Shalom is Shalom, Balam is Shalom, and Balam Naitlan. So, my VR, what is that coming to add? That's only if the Nizik is going to lose out. Let's say the Nizik is not going to lose out. Keep going. The shore. Is worth uh, five sloyim. Shenagasher shavachamish sloyim, and it also in again the nizik and the mazik's animals are worth the same. And the veil yafish shloishim zuz, and the veil actually improved. It went up in value. Shakel nami mazik b'shvacha. Maybe you would think since it went up, it went up in value. Then nizik isn't losing out, and therefore the mazik should be able to get. You're Mishal Mishal Balam Mishal Me'ena Balam Noitlim. Balam pay they don't take. Okay, hold off for one second. So again, maskana by pras nevela, according to everyone, it's a loss for the nizik. The whole machlokus is when it comes to shvach, shvach nevela. When it does it go all to the nizik or does it get split up? Omu rav achabar tachlifal or rav imkem asin rabbi huda tamishom yosim mechatzi nizik. We find that a time gets more than half. But our omer machor es sharachai v'chatzu es katsu was supposed to be split. So easily we heard of us chapakha sumisa maxin bakhai so no so we find that Rabbi Huda actually holds that <clears throat> when it comes to the loss um <clears throat> it is split in the living one minoe maybe gamma semis yakhatsun it says the mace is split i have a Rabbi Huda was then night khat ya khat khat mace is then khat khat mace i thought that everyone gets the nizam was split the living and the dead one. In Kain Nefev Kral Vi Esameis Mai Begam Shema Mina Tarti says Rashi. Isler Bihud Bachas Shapachas and Misa Hilkach Bahu Nami Mikra Nafkalei Doi Shaka El Chati Nezek. In that case, also <coughs> you only get Chati Nezek. Okay, so now that's we're going to stop there by this new Mishnah, and let's look at again question five. So let's read the question one more time. Beis Oifin. In what cases are Machlokas Rabbi Mary and Rabbi Huda based on the Pasuk of Gamma Semesi Yachatsun? Rabbi Huda Dorish did not Chatsi Yachai Vachatsi Yemes that you split the value of the living animal, the Masik's animal, and you also split the value of the, the dead animal, the Nevela. Rabbi Mayor Dorish will only Bachas Misa Mechsun Bachai. He says, no, they will always just look at the value of <coughs> the living one. So, so, Bishvicha Nevelo. We're talking about where the Nevelo actually goes up in value. Where Behud, um, Cholken Hashemach. He holds actually, you'll split the profits. Not that you're actually going to get money, but you, it's a like deduction from how much you have to pay. Rameir Kul and Nizik. Rameir holds no, that it entirely goes to the Nizik. And I just answered very cleanly the same question. So, we're in Shvach Nevelo. So I guess that's probably correct. Um, TA22. Shorsh of a Messiah. Zen night of Hatsi Chaim and Hatsi Amaze. Dear Mary Huda. Umani Makai Magamas Amaze Echatsun Pachas Shepichasu Misa Mechetsun Machai. If it went down in value. But Mike Mifakil Maskana. So they do not argue when it comes to Shvach. To, when it comes to pras nevela, it's everyone holds that goes. That's the nizik's loss. <coughs> the machlokus is when it comes to shvach nevela. 
and this Rabbi Yehuda Palgi, it's split up. Rameir Kulei the Nizik, it all goes to the Nizik Adkan.